Yeah, yo, this is her, man. This is the first episode of Chillin' on Green Box with DJ Specs, Thompson, and you know, you know, it's me, the View. What's up? And we doing this thing, you know, coming out of this first episode. We kind of went off the dome with it, man. Most people mess up, you know, we try to fix the post That's right. But, you know, this is it. And, you know, we still, we still don't wing it, you know. We, we do what we do. And, um, we just look at this stuff for all, yeah. you know. You know, we, we do it in all, you know. You know, we you know we doing it all the pain of pain. We got stuff right now. We're going we to go through it and, and whatnot. But, yeah. We're going to turn this thing on up. So, uh, let's get this thing started. Me, the view. You know, I'm going to say the topic. Then from the topics, you know, I will let my co-host right here, you know, you know, that, you know, do his thing. And uh, we can go back and forth like that. Then later on, I'm going to go to the list of new music that came out. And expect he will go through the list of the uh, comments that came up. Then we're going to probably do a list of the new anime that came out, you know, just write the show up there. Keep it a little nice and sweet. Let go. Come on, man. Now let's go. What you got? What you got? Man? All right. First on the thing, The Rock is angry at WWE, man. Specs, what you got on that? So basically, The Rock pitched a multi-year uh, uh, plan with Black Adam and Henry Cavill as Superman to WWE as X, which pitched him off. Apparently, he went around the chain of command to make the uh, cameo happen with Superman. Basically, he caught them doing a change of head directors to make the call with the co-heads of the film and not the chief of the film, which, you know, you got to see the scene you did in Black Adam. Man, that's wild, man. I wouldn't have never thought The Rock would do something like that. It gets petty like that, but hey, you never know. Right. Second, you got 21 Savage wants to be projectly frozen so he can be woken up in 2000, uh, 2100. Spit it out, man. Spit it out. 21, man. 21, yeah, basically. Yeah, basically. Man. Is. Well, anyway, in the tweet, 21 Savage said he would just uh, wants to be alive in 2021, and somebody needs a project to freeze him like right now. Basically, he's just a rich dude talking about money, man. Talking about he could do his money. He trying to be like what Walt Disney? Yeah, man. Him and him and Walt Disney will be sitting together, man. It's wild, man. But, hey, man. You rich, you do what you want. I'm trying to be like Futurama. Yeah, Thirty. It's a space race, and. China is trying to claim the moon as their own territory. Isn't that crazy? Like, what you got on that? I want to hear what's All right. So, former astronaut Bill Nelson says we're in a space race with China over the moon. Within the next two years, one country will get an advantage and take over the moon as its own. Hopefully, it's not China and whatnot. J Japan probably seen it ahead of time. That's probably where they start building the gunnels or whatever. We might have space colonies soon. You know, you know, might taking like one way trips to the moon. You know, hey. Now that all makes sense. Now it makes sense why the Japanese over there making mobile suit gun on what was it? RX 30, yeah, they, 39. Uh, explains everything why they was making it now. Explains everything. And SpaceX, you know. Now we got Vince Mason, you know, the rapper, you know, with tattoos. I think he's from the West Coast. Yeah. I can't remember. But uh, he's bringing clean water to Ghana. Clean water. Because, you know, apparently he's half Guyanese or whatever. But yeah, I mean, Let's break it down so after seeing how bad the condition was in Ghana, Vince Mason decided to build three uh boreholes in different communities throughout the Ghana. So they're gonna have clean water. First being in his little home city, his people is from apparently, and two more should be brought out through the country. And it's just stop the war born diseases within the cities as well. Yeah, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. Good, good, good look. Good look. Right good look. Well, so yeah, well, so That boy R. Kelly, man, he can't stay out the headlines. Apparently, R. Kelly forced Aaliyah's family to sign non disclosure agreement. Guess why? Right. Guess why? Go ahead, sir. Go ahead, tell him. Tell right. So, in the final episode of Surviving R. Kelly, we found out that R. Kelly got married to a lady when she was only 15 and he was 27 years old by lying on documents saying that she was 18. Then, once her parents found out, he made them sign. Uh, um, an uh, MDA non-exclusive agreement to uh to a note of the wedding, 
and which the agreement got them not say nothing about anything that happened and plus they got the rights to the first three albums so you know they had all them bangers on it too so they got paid more money yeah man it's it's real yeah. crazy man, oh, man. dude can't dude can't win dude, dude can't weird win. man weird dude but guess what down this is a good one this is a good one this little joke that you know i decided to put in there you know billy irish hung was burgerized they ran up in her stuff man they just check the whole thing out. so her childhood home was broken into and neighbors called the, uh, the burglary saying the man with dark clothes and dark mask jumped over the gate i guess broke into the house and, you know some camera snitch hold on hold on you basically say hey what's that song was glock tuck <laughs> big shirt <laughs> poo shicey yeah, man shicey, really nice basically Bringing that thing with his teeth. Yeah. You know. And the trend topic of everything, you know, everybody was talking about the cheap man. Gorilla. Gorilla said she went three years in jail for stealing cereal. Just break it out to him. So on the interview with Funny Marco, she said she did three years in jail for stealing fruity pebbles from Kmart. That's right, fruity pebbles from Kmart. <laughs> That's crazy. That's why, man. What, what, what the hell? What were they? What were they thinking, man? I guess Memphis really got the serial killers, man. <laughs> Get it, serial killers. Check this out. It's gonna be a robot that's a lawyer. It's also powered, powered by AI. Can do cases? Can you believe that? But you gotta tell your folks more about that. So a AI power robot will do his first trial in the next month as a legal assistant to help defend documents in a traffic violation. The company called Do Not Pay made the bot and said if they lose they will pay for the court costs and fees. We're still straight, you know, but uh hey I won't run when a robot, you know, support me in the court. So hey, you never know. Can you imagine that? You can't imagine a lawyer really trying to you know solve for case but hey put some show they're gonna pay you that money either way lost a hip-hop legend you know last week gangsta boo died in memphis you know crazy you know just did a song with lotto and uh gorilla too i guess that Rory's kid was fat coming in but sex Little no tea what he said about it. you know the whole system. all right so gangsta boo died in memphis the first uh of the year to a possible drug overdose with her brother but he was able to recover but she didn't the od was stated to be caused by fentanyl man that fentanyl getting out of control man you can hold everybody wow yeah real sad real sad situation you know blessing to our family and everything part of you know everything she got going on but hey life goes on man and this the funny one you know this one came out of nowhere freaking big cover back y'all know him from dr strange in the marvel movie you know it's being sued for having slaves can you imagine that but it's not him having slaves his family you know spectate more about that cause what's the whole paragraph about that go ahead so friend. basically dr strange aka uh benjamin uh come uh come back i missed that all way. his family could be forced to pay reparation payments to descendants of the slaves in barbados the national task force of reparations in barbados has found ties to wealthy families of slave owners and possession owners and dr strange's family is from one of them families and they got caught to find us so basically wherever you know, like a comma J to comma, yeah. You know, comma J maybe losing their finances after Barbados succeeds. You know, no more golden clothes for them. Maybe some folks in Barbados get blessed by, like, you know, it's all right, back and forth. But hey, this next part segment of the show we get ready to do, you know. This is where I break down all the new music that came out last week. 
you know, top new year off with all kind of new music. Then, you know, past expects, he gonna give you all the new anime that premiered or came out. And I don't know, I don't know what we doing for now, but you know, we've been in it the first episode of the Green Box podcast, and we chill on the Green Box. Yeah, I try a new thing, man. Sun kicking my ass. Back in the day, you know, home was kicking it, you know, whipping it and whatnot. You know, what are we doing? We're trying to make this thing happen. So, um, what I got, what I got. Uh, See, but they had that ready, bro. You tripping. Uncle Murder, you know, wrap it up, 2022. Uh, he takes shots at Ye, Young Miami, Gunna, and more. It is a new song, man. I haven't heard of Uncle Murder in a minute ever since, you know, that London Trap song. So, you know, he's still doing his thing. And of course, you got Big Crick. He dropped birthday song right for New Year. You know, go y'all gonna check that out. He says new anthem 2023 is Mad Attack. So y'all you know, make sure y'all check that out. Give me y'all pins and you know in the chat, you know, let me know how y'all really feel about it. But in a flip side, Ty Dollar Sign dropped the song called 2022, the closeout of the year. And he said that was the closeout song 2022. Man, y'all check it out, man. See what he talking about in that song. So that's a closeout song compared to Big Crit, you know. Anthem song for the year, you know, they, you know, doing their own thing right there. What else I got? Pat Trail, he, uh, freestyle over Rob Fortnite and Vulture Island, you know, go check that out. That boy still rapping, you know, it's a lot of little sleepy people still out here making music, so, you know, check them out. Big Boogie dropped new single, title Outside. It's a new thing he's working on, man. I like Big Boogie, man. I rock with him. He's a pretty, you know, pretty on point. Tony Hayo and Lloyd Pink, you know, they dropped the track. You know, it's called Rocket Chamber, man. You know, my boy's still doing anything as well. Then Polo G and Trap Baby dropped the freestyle called Done It All, man. Y'all go check that out, man. Polo G be going. And recently, man, he's gonna be one of the harder cop pops in this pretty soon. Um, uh, Erica Banks, you know, she takes on young jocks, it's going down on her, her own freestyle, you know. And she went in on that. I heard a little sample of that, that, that was pretty dope, you know. Uh, Dash, he uh, started a new album apparently, and he drops a new song off that album. Uh, called Foul Play, and the album is called Screw Face 2. So, y'all be on the top of that. Then, you know, RP Takeoff, man, that boy Quavo paid tributes to take off his new song without you, man. And he dropped a bill for it too recently. So, y'all check it out. They say the boy got deep at the end. Logic. Logic still spit, man, and he's taking aim at all these money hungry, clout chasing rappers and his new inspir- song inspired You know, y'all gotta check it out. And Drake still doing an Afro Beats train. You know, I've been on that lately too. When he dropped on a song called We Con- We Can Done. I don't know, you know, I ain't I put my you know, Nigerian stuff yet, but uh, we kind of done, I believe, the name of the song. It's featuring Drake and Pooch Khan. You know, y'all check that out. And Skrillex, you know, still getting that bread, still hot. We've been quite quiet, you know, on our side, but he dropped a new song with Tricky Red and the Pink Panthers called Way Back. Queen Niger returns with Let's Talk About It with new singles, you know. She been pretty consistent, you know. I'll make sure y'all check out her single. And Chris Brown joins battle on Do You Mind single. It's now streaming now, you know. Of course, happy Friday with that. And you know, you know, French Mont-
game in 2023. Y'all check that out. Kamaya, right? It's rocking Kamaya, man. But she got dropped from, you know, what's it? YG thing? But, you know, she's still going strong. She floats on this melodic new song called Through the Week. Y'all check that out. For real. And, um, uh, that's all I got right now. Till next week. Uh, that's what it is. Now I'm gonna pass over to Specs. You know, Specs on um do his thing with anime stuff. And we can probably wrap the show up, you know, a short show, you know, probably 30 minute show segment. But, you know, yeah, ain't nothing ain't nothing wrong. Thing, like I said, this first yeah. episode, we're trying to make it you know, work, you know, make it all popping and whatnot. That's what it is, man. Make sure y'all like the video, man. Then we drop the real thing on podcast and on YouTube, y'all check it out. You know, this show is chilling on the green box with Bex Thompson and me with you. All right, Seth, go ahead. All right, so a new anime. I ain't know they had it. They got a uh, pole princess, which is a pole dancing anime that started streaming on December 28th. Pole princess is about a 19 year old girl named Hinaro. She and her she and her friends plan to start uh pole dancing uh concert or show whatever to save her grandma's planetarium from being closed you know that's a new one uh the basketball anime slam duck first uh film has earned 6.7 billion yen in the first month so far you know that's that's major you know and them boys still living the dream out there in that basketball anime um, the anime Gama Slayer gets a Switch and PC game, so you know, be on the lookout for that. It's coming out pretty soon. Um, the studio in light is producing a film called M Find Up, which is a term for Aframe, I guess, or Afro anime. Uh, a fan of it tells the story of Oda who is transported to the past and teams with Nisimbe, I believe to confront evil spirits to reclaim Nessica. Uh, these names won't kill me this, this stuff. Uh to have any hope of returning home. And of course it's in the you know Af- uh, Af- black anime, Afro anime if you didn't catch that. Uh then you got a series uh a certain scientific tool uh anime genre whatever it's called is again another spin off the certain magic index franchise gets a new novel series called a certain item of the dark side which launches in march you know and uh the story follows the women of the dark side of academy city so yeah be on the lookout for that as well um new anime is coming out this week uh is it wrong to drive pick up girls in a dungeon uh four comes out on the fifth uh, what else is interesting on here? Uh, the Legion of Hero Tales of Cold Steel, our Northern World TV thing. Um, uh, looks pretty dope. It's a brand new one's coming out. It drops uh, January 6th. Uh, Buddy Daddies. It's uh, about an assassin and a girl looking for a father on Christmas Day. And they end up, that's right, they're living together. Kind of like, sound like kind of spoof or spy family but that drops on the sixth of this month uh what else trigun stampede you know the remake coming out uh on the seventh of this month johnny young boss said he is returning to the voice on a dub version of that as well uh chilling in my third chilling my third that's again fired from the demon king's armies uh come out on the seventh Tokyo Avengers Christmas Showdown starts on the seventh as well. Uh, the Misfits of Demon Kingdom two come out the seventh. That's about it for me, I guess. I don't see nothing else too interesting. Oh, Vinland Saga comes out as well. I forgot about that. Check that out. That came out on the night. So, yeah, man. Anime, manga. That's it, man. A lot of stuff happened, man. Top of the year, they want to dump everything off in our first quarter. You know how it is. 
And I figured out what I was going to do. I was going to hit you with the second segment. You know, uh, releases, releases. You know, he got his manga. Why not give you the combos? But since they're doing last week, I'm doing this week. So this week, you know, I got to look through it on the little list. You know, it's all, you know, all the dome because I find a format, see how it works, you know, how it goes, whatnot. But hey, this is it, man. Oh, let me see, let me see, let me see what's on this list. Uh, I'm skimming through it. Uh, I really need to go on other websites to give me the, the writers so I know what's important. What's you not. never drink. But you never get it, bro. Top, you know, the Batman, Joker, the Deadly Duel, number three is coming out. That, that's been a good book. You got Batman and Scooby Doo Mysteries, volume two, issue four coming out. Uh, what else is on here? You got Batman Incorporated, issue four. Basically, Batman, Batman, Batman. Another one that's been going in. It's not a Batman. And apparently, there's a re- reprint of the Batman Spawn issue coming out. Yeah. Dude. It's, 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 that. Reprints going going out now, I believe. Wait, these reprints. I need to get that. Boy, these reprints are hot. So you know, I'm looking at five hundred dollars, twelve hundred dollars. You know, but, but, but you got that. Don't guys worth some money right now? I made sure I got me one. I think I got two of them. Wait, I think I got one. I don't. I, I made sure I got one. Oh uh, yeah, well, Batman, Batman. You know, Batman's always coming out. You know, DC. Um, Danger Street number two coming out. You got a uh, Flash uh, issue 123. I believe that's a key issue. Another reprint that came out because Clara has, you know, uh, Jay Garrett Flash. I assume is Barry Allen Flash, but you never know, but they're on the cover, so definitely a reprint of that. And also, and also you got Flash Volume 5. Um, Issue 790, you know, Impulse is on the cover. So I have been reading Flash, but apparently he's back. Um, what else we got? Uh, Human Target, Harley Quinn. Uh, I Am Batman, number 17. Ladder's Planet, Alpha One. Heard that was a pretty good read. Y'all check that out. That's what I Am Batman. I'm reading that. I'm pretty current on that, too. Yes, yeah, so I'm stuck on that one. You know, I kind of like it being a regular Batman. I don't know because it's black or what, but it's more down to home to me. Um, a little more. Let me see, kind of getting some Marvel stuff for y'all. A lot of a lot of covers for that for that um Lazarus Planet stuff. Uh, Wildcats. Uh, out new Wonder Woman, Nightwing, Suicide. Squad Blaze Hardcore coming out for y'all. We like that. Trades coming out for that. Uh, you got some indie books. Jeff Amara, uh, Red Sonya, Hell Sonya, you know. Um, a lot of the covers that Vampirella, you know, you know that. Talk about some Marvel stuff for y'all. You, know, you gotta be strolling on with your father. Uh, Godzilla came out. Uh, yeah, I'm really scrolling. Uh, Blood Stain T. That's not interesting. It was that. That's issue eight. So it's been going on for a minute. Uh, not really. None of these angels catching my eye. Gunslinger Spawn number sixteen. Uh, Little Monsters. Little Mon- I Think I think Specs read Little Monster on his on show. I don't know. Specs can confirm that for you. I did. Uh, a brand new spawn number one. Spawn unwanted violence number one. So y'all check that out. Uh, it was, oh, another reprint cover. So make sure y'all get that. This is a reprint. Oh, is it a reprint? No, this is a cover. It, this is, it looks like a, a look off an orange cover too, you know, Spider-Man no more. So, but, uh, Spider Man, Volume 6, number 17. Now they're going to the Dark Web Arts. That's what's going on there. Hmm. 
Avengers, War Across Time, Black Panther come out. Got America Sing with Truth. Car, another current book. I thought that ended, but apparently it's still going on. Uh, Daredevil, Dark Web, Miss Marvel tie in. Ghost Rider, Golden Glob, Golden Goblin number one. This is a reprint coming out. You know, second print. You know, I didn't get that. Maybe I need to go buy that because second print came out. But hey, I didn't care too much. I already know who Golden Goblin is. It was a big shock factor of me. So, yeah. Um, a credible hope. Looks like I don't know. It might be a reprint. I don't know, Incredible Hulk, you know, got, you know, I guess his first issue of his own book, that looks like. You got Legion of X, she got Mary Jane Black Cat, uh, a lot of release. You got Miles Morales coming out, and you got another homage cover of the Miles Morales kneeling down, like with Spider-Man with all the spiders, can't think of the artist right now. They're pretty much that. Post time is two come out. Hopefully that was better because first it was kind of meh. Uh, Boom Girl, another book coming out. You know, uh, Moon Knight. Uh, it's a lot of variant covers playing on March and old covers in, in these issues of Marvel. You know, you got Predator, Savage Avengers. Star Wars, Darth Vader, Hidden Empire, and the High Republic. All Star Wars books. And the Mandalorian is coming out too. Tiger Vision number three is coming out. If anybody started reading that book, you know, that's still going out. Spence did review that in his podcast and the comic book Geeks. Check that out. They're coming back soon. Uh, Wolverine. Uh, X Men and some trade paperbacks with Spider Man, Deadpool, and House of M trade paperback. I might cop that too. And uh, yeah, that's how the comic releases. You know, I've been talking a lot, man. I think it respects let him chit chat for y'all. You know, it seemed like it would be a thirty minute show, like I said. Let's see a post production, but you know, first give it a post rundown. Like everything, you know, I'm just gonna chill and whatnot. So yeah, this is a show, like I said, it's chilling the green box, you know, we're gonna uh, just break down stuff like this, you know, the blurred culture, you know, we gave you some comic stuff, we gave some music stuff, we gave some, I guess, some general information about, like, stuff I, we assume y'all are like or whatever, and we just wanna do this once a week, you know, we're gonna, I, we don't still have to pick a day when we drop the episodes and whatnot, but, like I said, we're gonna drop one episode on this day and that episode with interviews on another day and they break it down for you and uh this is basically blurred culture it's not gonna be all be about that black stuff you know because you know blurred means black nerd but we're not always gonna be about that you know we're gonna have a little bit a little bit of everything on there because you know everybody's not with the same stuff so uh hey it's, that's why it's about the culture urban culture because that can mean a lot of things, but uh, hey man, share this, man, share the next show, share the interviews we got, share everything we got going on, so we get on popping. We're gonna get better over time, man. Just like I said, just the first show. We're gonna, we just, you know, we're gonna crank it out the best we can, you know. And uh, hey, this first show, I believe it was a smooth little transition between things. We gotta get better. We gotta get more in sync with each other. But that's how we're gonna do it, man. Uh, y'all stay tuned, man. Like, like the pages, man. If you see it on social media. Like all the pages, man. Chill on the green box, you know. Follow me, Specs Seven Hundred Six. Follow the view at Legacy the View. You know, we're doing everything. We gonna even put little clips of the show. You know, we're gonna try everything to get the show popping. You know, this is the thing. Most people ain't doing it. Start shoot when you start getting a little budget with this. You know, we gonna make it bigger. So yeah, expect to what's up. And we're doing the thing. You know, it is what it is, man. These folks keep knocking on my door, man. Yeah, man, might as well say this, you know, the trap jumping. But <laughs> you already know what it is. So, uh, yeah. That's it. <clears throat> man, you need to clear your throat, man. I don't know what's going on with that, man. <laughs>
I am just playing with you, bro. What you got from the folks? But yeah, we're going to go ahead and wrap this show up. You know, we, we enjoyed it. We, this first show, you know, it's kind of kind of rugged. When we'll get better, you know, we're going to get better. You know, maybe one show, you know, Spence had a lead talking. Next show, I had a lead talking. We just going to take it up. We just going to lie. And later on in the week, we also have interviews. So, y'all check the interviews out, you know. And uh, I'm going to Spence do all the interviews, you know, whatever. Luckily, he got me here because, you know, from time to time, I had to jump out, you know, because uh, stuff is going on. You know, I'm a superhero. You know, my smoke start coming. I got to dip out of here. So, uh, yeah. Uh, you know, I already know what this is, man. I am The View from Legacy View Comic Book. Check me out. My issue is at LegacyView.com. Also, follow me on all social media at the Legacy the View. And check me on TikTok. I mean, I'll be explaining stuff, breaking stuff down too as well for the car community and, you know, the blur community. So, yeah, me. You know, man, I'm Spex Thompson. You know, who it is, man. You know, I'm DJ, combo creator, you know, all that. And follow me at, uh, follow me at Spex706, you know, how it is. And uh, on social media, you know, just turn up.